Okay, in this quick video, I'm going to explain how system audio gets to participants in popular uh, meeting applications like Cisco WebEx, Zoom, BlueJeans, and things like that. So let's take, take your typical host and participant. So we have the host on this side, we have the participant on this side, and the little C there, that's their computer, and they have a monitor here, and this guy has a monitor and computer, and then these things over here, these things here, they're speakers. Okay, so how do we typically, if we share our screen, if the host shares his screen, uh, over here on the left here, he's going to share his screen, and things are going to come out on this other screen. That's no problem at all. When he's talking, the input is going to be from his mic over here on the left, and it's going to come out the participant's speakers. No problem at all there. Okay, so we have an input on one side, and we have an output on the other side. However, what if we share a video? And that video, let's put a video up here. Okay, let's say the host goes to YouTube. Put UT for YouTube there. That YouTube video, now it has an audio output as well. So now, or you want to call it over here on the host side, an audio input. Um, so we have this mic now contending. So that has an audio that's coming from here to the participant speakers. And now we have audio from this YouTube guy right in here coming out these speakers, right? Um, so therein lies the problem. That's why most of these modern WebEx teams and WebEx meetings and Event Center and Zoom and Zoom Webinar and BlueJeans and, and all those, they have an extra secret sauce. They have to build in extra secret sauce because they know people are going to share YouTube videos. So what we have to do is take the output, and let's say this YouTube guy, there's an output. We're just going to draw an arrow here. Output for, you know, audio output. Okay. We have to take that audio output there, and we got to somehow ship it to these speakers now. Okay, now we have two audio inputs on this side. We have the mic and we have the YouTube audio output. Okay, now the old way and the bad way that this used to happen is they used to play YouTube and then you take the speaker sound that's coming out of the speakers here and that would kind of get input into the mic. You know, because it was really the mic was the only audio source that was going to the participants. So you would play the YouTube video and, and out comes, you know, sound from these speakers and this would make its way to the to the mic, which is right on the same computer if it's a laptop or a boom mic or something like that. Now that's very bad because there's a lot of echo cancellation technology that gets messed up and things like that. Um, uh, because it's not made for that. Okay, it's not made to take in the audio output from speakers. It's made to take uh, the audio output from your mouth. Uh, and nothing else. So they used to do this and it was just horrendous. You couldn't see it and then the, even the video would start. There's a lot of resources used by the, 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 the uh, PC itself. So we don't want to do that. That's bad. So there's extra secret sauce in these clients that allow you to take this output and this is usually called uh, system audio. Okay, we got to take this output, you know, and somehow ship it across to participants and at the same time still keeping the mic because if I start talking in the middle of the video, that needs to come out of these speakers as well. So not only the, the YouTube video needs to come out, of this, the audio needs to come out uh, from the YouTube video, but also the mic, you know, this guy's mic over here needs to uh, also come out. So there's actually two audio sources that are being, you know, uh, shipped over to participants. Uh, and that's what I'm going to show you next, how these uh, particular uh, meeting systems or applications work. Okay, here we are in blue jeans. And if I wanted to share something, I click on my share button. And of course, on all my screens, 
I get the you know click here. I have three screens here, so I'll, on on two other screens I get to click here to start sharing the screen if I want to share those other screens, or I can click on this one to share this screen. However, if I'm holding a meeting where I want to share a YouTube video, that's a little different. There's a couple of things different underneath the hood, as I explained earlier. In that case, for Blue Jean, I have to click this guy right here, share a video or audio clip. And it clearly states right here, if I click on that question mark, Blue Jeans want to sell an audio driver so that other people in the meeting can hear your audio from your computer. Remember that that's that's the system audio. Alright? So they can view your screen, but to actually hear the audio that's coming from your speakers, we need to redirect that. We need to grab that, not your mic, but it needs to grab the same audio output that's going to your speakers, grab that and send it across to the other participants. And that's what this is. And that's what, if you click that, you see it wants to uh, install this driver and it needs admin privileges for, to do that. So if you're not sharing a video, if you're just sharing a screen, you can certainly not do that and just, um, you know, share a video. Now, the video is going to come out a little choppy. The audio is going to be really bad because what's happening is it's taking the audio out of your speakers and then going into your mic. And uh, that just doesn't, that's just not good. It doesn't sound good. It's, it's choppy and things like that. Anyway, that's what, um, that's what you got to do with Blue Jean. Okay, let's take a look at, uh, for example, in contrast with uh, Cisco Meetings here. I have a Cisco WebEx Meetings up, and I want to share a video. Or let's say I'm going to share, um, you know, my screen with a video or something like that. I would click on Share right here, and then what I would do is I already had it selected here, but it's usually there. Uh, I would select Optimize for Motion and Video and you see it says share your computer audio right here okay and there it says share your computer audio allows other participants to hear your computer audio in other words we're talking about that system audio grab my system audio that's coming out of my speakers that output that's going to my speakers and ship it over across to the other participants don't listen to my mic don't take it in from my mic because there's a lot of echo cancellation and things going on there just port it over there and push it out their speakers and this doesn't take a you know another audio driver or anything it's kind of all part of the package and zoom is very similar to that so I just want to show you in contrast you know there's nothing else I have to install here uh, if I want to share um, a screen right and I would do something like that and then I would bring you know a YouTube video over it. I'm sharing my screen. I'd bring a YouTube video and I'd start, you know, playing this video here and then, yeah, and then audio. I won't do it, but you get the picture that the audio is going to be shipped over to the participants in a separate channel. Yeah, so that is it. Let me stop sharing there. I'll stop this video here and uh, hopefully that helps and to uh, explain things.